What is up everybody? This is Baby Chris here and I'm at day three of Universal. And happy Labor Day because the day that I'm filming on is Labor Day. So I'm gonna go to Islands of Adventure and Universal to check out more rides. I pretty much did everything I wanted to do. So let's see what's around the area. They have their own movie theater and they're having the re-release of Jaws. I love that movie. All right, here's Universal, Hard Rock Hotel or Hard Rock Cafe, Islands of Adventure and Hulk, and more at City Walk. All right, the Avenger begins one last time. Time for a ride on the Incredible Hulk coaster. All right, here is a last look view of the islands. There's Seuss Landing, Lost Continent, Harry Potter, Jurassic World, the Toon Lagoon, and I'm waiting for that Cobra roll for Incredible Hope to go on. Should be coming up. Here's a good tip. If you want to ride the Incredible Hulk front row or back row as a single rider, the one tip is, is that avoid the single rider line because if you go on the single rider line, they'll choose your seats and they'll tell you that you can't. But the single rider line is optional. Basically ask politely to an employee, hey, can I have the front row? Hey, can I have the back row? And if you want the and you're allowed to ask for the front row. You just have to stand in a special line. All you have to do is ask. Because that's how I got my front row. I mean, I took the single rider line when I first went on the whole coaster back in day one of my BCA and they allowed me to. So I would highly recommend doing that as a way to stay out of trouble and get the front row. And another thing you can do is just allow people to get in front of you. Just say, hey, you wanna get in front of me? Because that's better than line jumping. I was originally gonna film the Incredible Hulk coaster at the station, but unfortunately I didn't because cell phones were not allowed on the ride. But the good thing is, is that they have free lockers if you scan your universal tickets. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going over to Seuss Landing, check out a few rides, and then head on my way over to U Universal Studios for the very last time. Next ride of the day, the Cat in the Hat, and there's a five minute wait. There's my ride vehicle. Well, that Cat in the Hat ride was amazing. I'm glad I got another ride. All right, last ride of the day to hide Sky in the trolley. Well, I wouldn't say last ride, but I mean last ride at Islands of Adventure. Last ride on the happy-go-lucky train. All right, here comes my happy-go-lucky train. The party arriving at the station. That's okay, well, I really enjoyed the Sneetch's train ride, just like the Incredible Hulk and Cat in the Hat. But I think I'm going to go make my way over to Harry Potter train ride and try to get some rides on the Harry Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Think left and think right. Think low and think high. Oh, the things you can think up uh, if only you try. Bye bye. Well, it's time to exit the park. Well, that's the end of Seuss Landing and Marvel Studio, uh, Superhero Island. So what I'm gonna try to do is head on over to Universal and I'm gonna try to be back early because the park's gonna get crowded. Plus I did everything I wanted to do in my past two BCAs of Universal. And what I'm gonna do is go over to Universal Studios do a little bit of rides there. And then I'm gonna head on back to my hotel 
go swimming. Since there's already plenty of time to before lines get crowded, I decided to take another ride on the Velocicoaster. Let's get down to business. I just love this view from the bridge. This is a nice view of the Velocicoaster with Harry Potter and Lily Pat. Back at the Jurassic Discovery Center. All right, more Stegosaurus, Brontosaurus, and a T-Rex. Next ride of the day, Hagrid's. All right, there's Hagrid's. All right. There should be some motorbikes out. All right. I'm glad that the single rider line is now open. Now I can finally get on that Hagrid's ride. Wow, Hagrid's was amazing. A 20 minute wait turned into like a five minute wait for me because I was a single rider. But it was an awesome experience. They want the dragons back. So I'm gonna go head over to Universal now because I heard it might be crowded and the wait times for some of the rides might be longer too. So let's head on over to the Hogwarts station. All right, taking the train back to Hogsmeade, which is Universal. I'm in a way. All right, I'm at Hogwarts Station, about to leave Islands of Adventure. <laughs> Goodbye, Islands of Adventure. Time to go to Universal Studios, and then it's time for me to head home. Well, I'm now back at Universal Studios, and hopefully I'll go on some more rides there, too. I'll try to make it quick, because it's going to get crowded, and... I want to do what I can. Next ride of the day, the Simpsons ride. I love this motion simulator. Still waiting in line, and you can watch the Simpsons while riding. That's funny. Hey, he used to work for me. For some reason, he hates me. All right, here are the stations. Row number one. He's allowed. Thanks for your attention. Enjoy the ride. All right, the doors are about to be open. Well, that Simpsons ride was awesome and it was fun. My favorite ride at Universal Studios. All right, I'm going to check out some wait times for other rides and hopefully I'll be getting out of here soon. All right, next ride of the day, Men in Black. And I'm taking the single rider line. My ride vehicle again for Men in Black Alien Attack. Right, here's my high score on Men in Black Alien Attack. I think you did high, but let's check. All right, I just got out of Men in Black Alien Attack, and it was an awesome ride. I just can't wait to get out, too. And it's almost going to be time for me to go on my last ride. Depends on the wait. But I'm going to be leaving early so I can go into the pool and pack up because... The next day, I'm actually flying back to Philadelphia. Time for another ride on E.T. Well, that was the end of E.T. and it was a great ride. Time for one more ride on Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster. Ten years ago, when I was at Universal Studios, as my last day being here, the day before I take flight back home, I remember Woody Woodpecker ride was my last ride of the day. And it felt like a reward for going on the big thrilling coasters. All right, Woody Woodpecker. comes my train for Woody Woodpecker. 
I can't really do a good Woody the Woodpecker. Got my last ride on Woody Woodpecker Nuthouse Toaster. There's Curious George Goes to Town. All right, I'm making my way through the exit of the park. There's the exit. All right, there is the iconic Universal Globe spinning in the mist. All right, there's the Universal Gate. Thank you for visiting Universal Orlando Resort. I know it's 12 o'clock, but you know, watch. It's time for me to get ready for, for the next day. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up day three of my BCA in Universal. As you know, this is, when I say day three, I mean the third time I go to Universal. So it's about time for me to move on. And the next day I have to pack up, take my flight back to Philadelphia, and then get back to work on what I need to do. And I gotta go upload the videos on YouTube. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next adventure as always.